Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's interesting article. So, you're seeing it correctly. If you look at the picture, what's wrong with the water? The water color is kind of different. And if you look at the title, it says shade of pink. So we know shade means the different colors, so it could be dark or light. And pink is the color that we know. We see pink a lot when we see children's or baby uh, clothes and also a lot of girls' toys or girls like the color pink because it's very beautiful. So, a uh, shade of pink, so it means a color of pink. So let's see what it's talking about. A salt lake at Westgate Park in Melbourne, Australia has again turned pink. So we know that there's a lake Lake is in Korean Hosu and lake, this one is different. Usually lake is fresh water, but there is a salt lake and that means it tastes very salty. There's a lot of salt in that water. And this is in Australia in a large city called Melbourne and the park's name is Westgate Park. So it's starting to turn pink. Okay, and it says, many things cause the color to change, such as high salt level, hot temperature, sunlight, and lack of rainfall. So there's many reasons why this lake turns pink. So one of the first reasons is high salt level. So that means there's a lot of salt in the water, more than usual. Then hot temperature, it means the weather is getting a lot hotter. Sunlight, we know that the sun is shining a lot there, and a lack of rainfall. Lack means not enough. So there's not enough rain. So all of these things combined is what's causing this lake to turn pink. People are warned not to drink or touch the pink water. So warned means they tell them, please do not do it because it might be dangerous. Don't drink it. Don't even touch the pink water. The lake is expected to return to its original color in the winter months when the weather is cooler and a lot of rain falls. So they're saying that this is uh, not going to last, but until it gets colder, it's gonna stay pink. But in the winter months, when the weather gets a little bit colder and there's more rain, the, the water will no longer be pink. But in the meantime, if you see it, do not touch it, do not drink it, because it's not clean, it's not, it's not good for your health. So you see a child standing in front of the lake, but they warn people, do not touch it, do not drink it. So that's very interesting. I'm sure a lot of people at first, they were very scared. They were wondering, why is this water pink? And many people probably touched it or even some tried to drink it. And now that we know that it's not good for you, then a lot of people are warned. They're told, don't do that. So this is very interesting and this is happening in Australia. So if you go to Melbourne, Australia, you might be able to see this pink lake. Very interesting. So let's fill in the blanks uh, from today's article. It says high blank level, hot temperature and sunlight caused the lake to turn pink. So what level? Was it the water level? Was it the sand level? We didn't hear those things. We said the high, that's right, salt level. Too much salt in the water. Next question says the lake is expected to return to its what color in the winter months? So when you go back to what you were supposed to be or what you were at first that's the word that we're looking for and that word is original so original color is the color that it once was or the color that it first was so it's going to go back to that color which is not pink the last question it says people are warned and we said warned is they're told that something is dangerous so be careful so people are warned not to something or touch the pink water so Maybe animals would do it, but even people try to do it and that's very dangerous and they try to, that's right, drink the water. So you are warned, please do not do that because it's dangerous, okay? And the last part, let's choose the correct word. A salt lake at Westgate Park in Melbourne, Canada, Australia or the United States has again turned pink. So where was it located? So we said Melbourne is the city. Where is the country? Melbourne, Australia. Okay, the second question, winter will see cooler weather and a lot of rainfall, less rainfall or sporadic rainfall. Sporadic means it comes and goes, stops, starts, stops, sometimes it's there and then it's gone. That's sporadic. Is there less rainfall in the winter or is there a lot of rainfall? So in the winter, we know that it gets cooler. In colder places, it turns to snow, but in places that do not get too cold, it rains even more. So we know that the correct answer is a lot of rainfall. So it needs more water and then the lake will no longer be pink. The last question, it says, the lake turns pink because of 
high salt level, low salt level, or medium salt level. So we said uh, one of our main reasons for why the, why the lake turns pink is too much salt. So if you have too much salt, how much level do you have? You have high salt level. So today's article, we learned about different shades of pink. So the lake in Melbourne, Australia, it turns pink once in a while because there's too much salt, it's too hot, right? Not enough rain. So for many reasons, you can see this very interesting, strange colored lake. But as it says, we shouldn't touch it. We shouldn't drink it because it's very bad for your health. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you're ever in Australia, maybe you can see this amazing pink lake. But remember, do not touch it or drink it. I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.